The Tribe Hotel's brand new Kaya Spa represents Kenya as one of the year's top picks and one of the only three spas in Africa to make it to the top 40 hot list spas for 2011. Looks like I'm just in time, thoroughly enjoying the pampering, the quietness, the relaxation as we look at perfect ways for you to just get away. It's all about me time right here on Travel Diary. So I've driven to the Tribe Hotel to check out their Kaya Spa. This is not just any spa, by the way. They've made it to the top 40 hot list for 2011 as one of the best spas in the world. In fact, only three African countries made it to this list. So this is going to be a typical day at the spa and I'm encouraged to know that it's not just popular with women. In fact, a lot more men are spending their time at the spa. Relaxation, unwinding, and of course, it's all about you. So I can't wait to find out what they have in store for me today as we visit the Kaya Spa. Hi. So what are we going to be doing today now? Having a look around, it's no wonder why. It is stylish, sophisticated, soothing, and provides a haven from the hustle and bustle of the capital. The first thing you'll notice when you walk into the Kaya Spa is a whole range of top quality beauty creams and products on sale to help with toning, weight loss, cellulite, and healthier skin. Kaya Spa at the Tribe takes inspiration from the mysticism and enchantment of the nearby Kaya Forest, both in its interior design and spa therapies. Unique artwork and fluid architecture set the pace for a tranquil experience designed as a sanctuary for the body and mind whilst holding true to the glamorous and sophisticated design of the Tribe. The five treatment rooms and Rasul Chamber offer a variety of spa treatments. Yeah, this is the most depressing conversation I've ever had in my life. She's basically telling me I'm damaged and I need severe help. So I'm getting ready for my Thai massage that helps align your body. Am I right? No oil uh, is involved. Usually it's on the floor and it's just deep massage and stretching. And uh, clearly, according to the expert here, I need it badly. <sighs> okay. Let's get I'll this. Have your face down. Just okay. have your head on. Do I go in? From an urban body boot camp to traditional Thai massages and time-honored healing therapies. They also offer a range of pregnancy-safe products, effective in giving the expectant mother strong, elastic, healthy and well-toned skin. Kaya's skilled therapists are certified and trained in modern and ancient massage techniques this includes supplementary skills training from Thai, Italian, South African and American experts in deep touch therapy and healing. The changing area includes resting spaces complete with day beds, lounge furniture and steam rooms for pre and post treatment relaxation. Well, my time at the Kaya Spa is almost done and I feel like a new woman already. Don't take it for granted. Your health, your well-being, take some time out. And of course, take care of yourself. And this lady right here who's massaging me, Wendy, is actually the reason uh, that 
the tribe was put on the list, I'm talking about the Kaya Spa specifically, as the top 40 uh, hot list for spas for 2011, so you are in very, very good hands. And considering the quality they have to offer, the prices are so affordable. So make sure you do visit the Kaya Spa at the Tribe Hotel. place of endless skies, dusty red plains and palm fringed rivers. Samburu National Reserve lies on the fringes of the vast and arid desert once known as the Northern Frontier District. From the crisp cool air of Mount Kenya to a picturesque landscape blanketed by the hot equatorial sun, I'm in the land of the colourful Samburu people. Headed off to a camp nestled in what I'm assured is a small glimpse into the Garden of Eden just because of the sheer number of animals we're bound to encounter. Elephant bedroom camp, here I come. Majestically set on the banks of the Iwaso Nyiro River in Samburu National Reserve, the Elephant Bedroom Camp is like a diamond in the rough as its magnificence stands in stark contrast with the vast wilderness of Samburu country. Surrounded by doom palms and other beautiful indigenous trees and shrubs, sits this small and exclusive camp of 12 luxury tents. Inspired by the textures and colours of African nature, each of the 12 beautifully appointed tents surround you with luxury. Linked by winding paths, the tents are widely spaced for extra privacy. The tents offer a private balcony overlooking the river and ensuite bathrooms with hot and cold running water. Elephant Bedroom Camp offers true African intimacy with simplistic elegance, luxury and style. The long days can be spent listening to the Iwasunyura River rush by while sitting on the tent's veranda and watching the game either across the river or right beside the tent. If you really want to relax in the afternoon, you can either do it on your bed facing the banks of the Iwasunyura River right here in Samburu National Reserve or if you want to do it in style like I'm just about to, you can take a dip in your very own plunge pool, right on your porch. Perfect. The lounge and dining area offer vibrant safari colours, soft intimate lighting designed to relax guests returning from an exciting game drive. Elephant Bedroom Camp promises and delivers an astonishing experience. The name of the camp couldn't be more fitting. Elephants are regular visitors as they regally roam through the camp in search for food and water. Watching an elephant from the comfort of your tent's veranda or from the main lounge is truly a thrilling and memorable experience. In addition to the elephants, prides of lions or the solitary leopard amongst other game are regular visitors around the camp. Now the highlight of staying at the camp is the late afternoon game drives in the Samburu National Reserve. Uncompromisingly rugged, yet vividly beautiful. Samburu National Reserve is home to a number of wildlife species rarely found elsewhere in Kenya. Gravy zebra, reticulated giraffe, and basal oryx. All three are found only in the north of the equator. 
The graceful Garaduck antelope, with its characteristic long neck, spends much of its time in a bipedal stance browsing on the sparse scrub that grows in this harsh terrain. This dramatic landscape is blanketed by the hot equatorial sun for most of the year. Relief comes from the cool waters of the Iwaso Nyiro River, which rises to the west on the foothills of the Abadeas and vanishes beyond Samburu in the soggy expanse known as the Lorien Swamp. The scenery in Samburu is magnificent and the bird life is absolutely awesome. Enjoy a sundowner as you watch the sun going down over the amazing Samburu Hills. Oh, absolutely amazing. Dining at the lodge is a culinary experience. From a candlelit gourmet dinner set underneath the African sky or inside the well-appointed dining area. Keeping in line that the camp is unfenced, the walkways are lit at night by safari lanterns and Samburu warriors escort the guests to and from their rooms. At night, you can push back the curtains in the tent to listen to the animals and river flowing nearby. Nothing matches dozing off to the sound of a chewing elephant just a few meters away. Stunning place, beautiful surroundings, exquisite food, and of course, great stuff. Elephant Bedroom Camp offers a great setting for unique wilderness retreat. So you enjoyed a beautiful stay in your log cabin? Hello! Exclusive log Diva. cabin. Oh my, I'm surprised you didn't give any elephants facials. The way you were give so facials? Up. I was stuck in my tent the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> Come out. Oh, Mr. Yeah. Pretty Boy. Was Mr. Pretty Boy doesn't want to get hurt by, <laughs> by I think, 5,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a beautiful and relaxing time. And of course, that winds up our show looking at retreats and options for you across Kenya. And remember, a retreat is not you sitting in isolation in your bedroom with your phone off. What? I thought that's what it was. No. Okay. Get out the front door, go out and experience and explore Kenya. There is so much for you to do. And Take some time out for yourself. It is important that you pamper yourself, whether as an individual or as a couple. Now look, we've said it time and time again, you don't have to leave Kenya to experience all this beautiful wilderness. We've got it right over here. Now next week's theme is going to be eco-tourism. That's going to be very interesting. Well, I've never been to an eco-lodge before, so let's see how that goes. Well, catch that and then some. If you want to explore some of the beautiful locations that we just featured on Travel Diaries, well, go to the link on your screen right now and we'll catch you next week, same time, right here on, on Travel, Travel Diaries. Diaries.